Now, this morning, making movies will be the hot talk at our state capitol. Right now, lawmakers are hashing out plans to solidify Florida as a movie maker's state. Actors, producers, and film crews are pleading with Tallahassee to extend the tax incentives given to those who want to make movies here in the Sunshine State. Our Laura Harris is live at the dot-com wall this morning with the Million Dollar Plan. Morning, Laura. And this morning, we're thinking back on all the movies that have been done here in Florida. Back in the day, Edward Scissorhands, also Dolphin Tale, as we know, both of those movies. And, you know, a lady's favorite, Magic Mike. All those movies right here in Florida. And when movies are made in Florida, hundreds of millions of dollars, as well as thousands of temporary jobs, come with them. Yesterday, the Senate approved adding $300 million in tax incentives for filmmakers who make their way to the Sunshine State. That money available throughout the next six years. Now, while there's a lot of excitement, the version of the bill has stalled in the House the financial commitment to blame. Florida has had the incentive program since 2003, but has since distributed the $296 million in tax credits already. Experts saying hundreds of projects already done in Florida have pumped around $1.6 billion and some 19,000 temporary jobs into the area. And right here in Tampa, with the fanfare surrounding Bollywood, plenty of talk surrounding the financial gains to be made through the movie industry. It's just a tremendous opportunity for us. Really, at the end of the day, you're talking about economic impact. The film project comes to town. They come here, they hire a lot of people at a very high wage. Uh, they stay in our hotels, they eat in our restaurants. And the objective right now for Florida lawmakers is to make sure our state stays in line with states like Georgia and Louisiana, which have been known as of late as movie-making states because they are making those tax incentives available.